Okay, for this kind of question, they give you a graph and they're asking you to fill out all these different parts, your reading values off the graph itself. The first four would be something similar to what you have seen in a pre-calculus class and then now we're adding in the limits. Okay, so recall this kind of notation here for the first one. This is asking you for what is the y value when x is zero. Whatever is inside the parentheses is going to be a zero. Okay, so when I go to zero, remember you're always looking for the closed circle and that's the one where the value is going to be defined. So you don't, we don't want the open, we want the closed one. And so this is going to be uh, four. Now if you're thinking, well wait, wouldn't it not exist because it has two different values? Okay, you're thinking of a limit in that case. These are not asking you for limits. These are just asking you simply for what value is defined when my x is zero. That's gonna be the one that's a closed circle. That's this one right here, closed circle. The y value is four. Next, f of two. That's the y value when x is two. Now, when I go over the two, I notice that there is no closed circle. If there's no closed circle anywhere along that, there's n nothing else, it's only open, that means that this is gonna be undefined. So undefined means we're actually not gonna have an answer at that particular one. Next, f of negative two. We want the y value when x is negative two. Okay, now negative two, we have an asymptote that's here. Um, so because of that, we don't have any closed circles along there. Another one that's gonna be undefined. Okay. And then we have f of 4. f of 4, even though we have both of these going up forever to infinity, there is a closed circle there and that's what we're going to grab for our value. This is going to be equal to 2. Now let's take a step over here and take a look at these limits. They want the limit as you approach 2 from the positive side. So here's two right here. We want to approach it from the positive side, which means that we're not on the straight piece. We're on the curved piece right here. We're going to follow that down until we get closer and closer to two. And it's going to be approaching the y value of one half. So we're going to say that that y value there is one half. That's the limit as you get really, really close to that one, even though the point itself is undefined. We couldn't do it here. F of two was undefined. However, we are able to do it here because these are asking two different things. One's asking you for a limit, one's asking you for an actual value you're reading off the graph itself. Okay, so be careful we don't want to confuse those. As you approach two from the positive side, from this side only, it'll approach one half. Now if I approach two from the negative side, that means I'm going to be on this straight piece here. So as I'm following that, that's going to go with the same value also. That's also going to go to uh, one half. The limit as you approach two these two limits, if they equal each other, that means this limit's also going to exist. The left and right hand limit must be the same and they're gonna approach the same value as the two other two here, one half and you have one half down below here. Okay, now next, we're gonna do this one. Limit as you approach zero, zero from the positive side. It's not gonna be one half this time. You're approaching zero from the positive side, that means you're on this piece of the graph, you're going to follow it up this way, it's going up this way, and it's going to go to 4. So this one, answer is going to be 4. 0 from the negative side, from the left hand side. This time you're on the curve piece here. So this one is going down, as you're approaching it from this side, from the left, you're on this piece, and that's going to go to 1 half. The limit here, the limit as you approach zero. Okay, we went zero from the positive side and the negative side. Notice that this time we arrived at two different numbers. That means that you're gonna put D and E that does not exist is what that abbreviation is for. This does not exist at zero because the left and right hand limits are approaching two different things. What about the limit as you approach negative two? Okay, negative two, we have to look at it from the left and from the right, and this is another one we notice that as we approach it from the left, that goes down to negative infinity. This one goes up to positive infinity. That's a, going to two different things. So again, this is another one that's gonna be D and E. Does not exist because again, they approach two different things. In order for a limit to exist, they both have to approach the same number like it does here at two. Otherwise, if it goes to two different things, does not exist.